Hello, my name is Ziad Rajabi, and today I'm going to show you a cool new tool that ships with the Open XML SDK that you can leverage to more easily create Office document solutions. So the first thing I want to announce is a brand new CTP for version 2 of the SDK called the December 2009 CTP. When you go to the download page for this CTP, you're actually going to notice that there's two packages to download. The first package is a package that just includes the DLL for the SDK. The second package is the tool, and this is the tool that I'm going to talk about today. I would recommend downloading both of these items and installing the tool. Once you've installed the tool, you can go to the tool, the path to the tool, and you're going to see an OpenXML SDK tool executable. Once you open that guy up, you're going to see the productivity tool in action. Now, I'm going to go over a couple of cool features that are part of this tool, and the first feature is the documentation feature. The documentation feature allows you to go and check the documentation for the OpenXML file formats according to what the standard says and documentation for all the file format extensions that were added as part of Office 2010. So let's take, ex let's take a look at the standard documentation. So if we go down to Word Processing ML, I can go and look at comments. And what comments is going to show me here is it's going to show you how the comments class has been created in, in terms of the SDK. So it's going to show you all the constructors associated with it, the methods, the properties, and as you can see here, the comments class is part of the comments part. The next tab here is the file format reference, and this is where the standard defines how the comments element is supposed to work. So this is a quick and easy way to go check to see how uh, the file format is specified in terms of the standard as well as the SDK. Now let's go take a look at some Office 2010 specific stuff. Let's go to Word here. And let's take a look at a new feature called Ligatures. And again, you, here's the documentation. This time is from the Office 2010 file format uh, specification. And this is how Ligatures works. And then here is the API documentation with respect to Ligatures. Again, you're going to see the constructors, the methods, the properties, and, and so on and so forth. So, really quick and easy way to go see, check out the documentation uh, according to the OpenXML file formats as generated by Office. So the next thing I want to show you guys is a cool tool that allows you to go and open up files and automatically generate code for you. So let's say for example I have a document here called example. Let's go and open this up. And in this example document here I have a paragraph with a heading one style applied. I have a second paragraph in here with just some normal text and then I have a table of data. Well let's say I want to go and generate this document using the SDK. How would you go do that? Well this tool actually accomplishes this task for you. So what I can do is I can go ahead and open up that file. Here's example document and what this will do is it will go ahead and allow me to go and choose reflect code. When I hit reflect code it will automatically generate all the code necessary to go and create that document. So I can go and right click, copy all code, run it in Visual Studio, compile it, and the end result will be a document that looks exactly like the document I showed you guys. Let's say you don't care about the whole document, you just care about a specific content part. Well, let's go, we can open up that thing up, and let's say we only care about the first paragraph. Well, here is the XML snippet for the first paragraph. Notice it says heading, heading one, and here is the code snippet that shows you how to create that paragraph. Here's paragraph one with a new run of heading one and it gets an applied style here called heading one from the paragraph style. So that's really cool. Uh, you can go to the second paragraph and do the same for the other second paragraph or even the table and you can break it down all the way down to all the way to the particular cell. So I think this is a quick and easy way to go and find code automatically. Think of this as sort of a macro recording feature uh, for the OpenXML file formats. The second feature I want to show you guys is a diff tool. So let's say I have this particular document here. And let's say I want to figure out how to add a new row and add conditional formatting. Well, what I can do here is I can go ahead and save this document out as book two to have two documents. And then I can go add those particular rows. Let's add some data inside here. And then I can go and apply my feature. And let's say I want to do conditional formatting. Save this document out close it up and now with the tool I can go ahead and compare two files so let's compare book one with book two hit OK and what you're gonna see here let's go ahead and minimize this up you're gonna see you have the ability here to go and compare two particular parts within my format 
So if I do view par difference, here's the XML difference. Notice that the dimensions of the spreadsheet is changed from C3 to C4, so I added that new row. And if we continue to go down, here is the XML for the new row with the values. And if we continue to go down, here is the conditional formatting that was applied to that particular uh, table of data. So the next thing I want to show you guys is let's say I want to go and convert document one to document two. How would I do that? Well, the, you can actually go and generate the code that would actually go do that for you. So if I go view hide code, here is the exact code that would transform document one to document two. And if we go down here a little bit, and we go and say change the worksheet part, you'll see that the dimensions reference got changed. You'll see here that we're adding a new row with the new cells. And if we continue going down, here's the conditional formatting and the data for the conditional formatting. So I think this is really, these tools in combination can really help you go create some of these document solutions a lot easier. The last tool I want to show you guys is a validation functionality. So whenever you're working with OpenXML file formats, you can get into a state where you try to generate a document, you try to open it, and then boom, you get presented with a data corruption error. The details don't really help you that much. Um, and if you hit OK, sometimes Word or Excel or PowerPoint can recover the, the, uh, the file. And you go click Yes, and the application is able to recover. But you have very little idea of what was going on in that file and why the application thought it was corrupt. Well, no more, because now what you can do is you can go ahead and open up that file with this tool and then click Validate. And what you can do is you can validate according to 2007 or 2010 and what it's going to allow you to do it's going to specify all the validation errors so if I go and look at this this thing has three errors and the first error says that there is a value for one of the for one of the uh, attributes here that is actually too long the second error here here says that let's see that the ID is the missing and the, the reference value is supposed to be three and then here it tells you that some of the values have been duplicated so I can go and manually fix these items up and then once that's all accomplished I can go and open up the document and have Word, Excel or PowerPoint handle the document properly so hopefully this tool will help you guys in your development and uh, if you guys have any great feedback associated with this tool please contact us, contact us through the Microsoft Connect site for the open XML SDK. Thank you.